Hey friends, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. If you are new to my channel, come here. Hey, my name is Christina. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my amazing supporters. Thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like this video. If you've been just watching my channel and you not subscribed, baby, hit the subscribe button down below, okay? Please and thank you. I appreciate you. And most importantly, also comment on this video. So as y'all can tell, before we get into it though, today is Monday, January 9th, 2023. It's currently 3.23 p.m. Um, This is probably like my second video of the year. Yeah, I haven't been filming, but don't worry. I'm gonna get back in motion, y'all. Um, Cause y'all know your girl took like a week off or whatever, but I'm back in motion. So back to filming and stuff. But to be honest, y'all, I've been having like creators block and sometimes having creators block like comes from me like I love like freestyling my videos like I don't like um like reading from a paper script for script like I don't like everything like perfectly scripted so sometimes it's really challenging for me but that aside um this is a get ready with me video as y'all could tell and all y'all know I already am dressed so i'm gonna roll the clip towards the end and i'm gonna show y'all my outfit at the end um i had a lot of like meetings today y'all today has been like super duper productive that's why um i told y'all it's currently 3 30 i'm filming the day of i'm about to upload the day of show you the type of day i'm having i'm gonna try to shoot like one or two more videos today um again just to get back in motion because that's what works for me on my channel but all that rambling aside i'm about to share with y'all like how to make a comeback so most of the time like if you feel like you've been taking l's if you feel like you've taken losses like in certain areas of your life and you're not sure how to make a comeback I'm about to teach you how in this video, okay? So, it depends on like, of course, what area of your life you are in. So I'm gonna use finance, for example. I'm gonna use relationship, for example. Like, different things just to kind of bring my point across. Um, phone's ringing again, y'all. This is like, I had three meetings today. I don't think I could do another one, but I'm not picking up the phone right now because I'm talking to y'all. But basically, I'm gonna share with y'all, like I said, how to make a comeback in any area of your life because I feel like I've made a comeback. Like, y'all know that song by, um, what is it called? By Big Sean, where he said, last night, I, last night I took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Like, I'm about to teach y'all how to bounce back, basically. Cause I feel like some people don't know how to bounce back. Like, I feel like some people just take L's and they stay with those L's. They sit with them. They kind of let life beat them down. And they just become content with where they are when they don't have to be. You get what I'm trying to say? So if you are, I'm gonna start with relationship. I was gonna start with a finance, but we're gonna start with relationship but we're going to talk about it okay so if you was in a relationship where like things just didn't work out things just didn't go how you wanted it to go I would say like write down the things maybe in that person that you didn't like write down the things analyze write down the things that you didn't like about that relationship and what would make a better relationship for you number one number two like what would make up for all that you've been through in that relationship that you've been in so maybe you're um, I guess I'll use myself as an example. So maybe you're like me. You was previously like, before I got married, I was in a five year relationship and it didn't go how I wanted it to go. And that's totally fine. He's not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. It just didn't work out, right? And that's cool. Sometimes things just don't work out. But what would make up like for me, spending five years in something that didn't work out? For some people, it's getting married. For some people, it's being single and living their life, you know, uh, going through their little phase. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna keep it classy, y'all, because I'll be wildin' sometimes. But, um, okay, so, <laughs> so what would make up for you that five-year relationship not going the way that you want it to go? And I say it's you just deciding on what you want 
not lowering your standards, not settling for less, and just taking like what you want. You get what I'm trying to say? Like it's gonna end up being like you filtering again, like through different guys, if that makes sense, or different girls to decide what you want. You get what I'm trying to say? And then once you decide what you want, go after it and that's it like and when you go after whatever it is that you want that you feel like will make up for the loss that you took go after it it's that simple like it's going to take effort it's going to take time it's going to take work but it's going to be rewarding you get what i'm trying to say for example like i've been through bad friendships as well but the friends i have now has made up for the bad friendships that i've been in you get what i'm trying to say like bad situations losses kind of teach you what you want and what you don't want and once you've taken a loss in something and you feel like this is not what i want you have to decide what you do want and make an effort to go after it so even financially right or maybe career wise let's say you got fired from a company or you got let go from a company decide what's going to make up for the loss that you took working at that company you get what i'm trying to say everything is not a complete loss because you gained something from whatever situation that you were in there was a lesson that you could learn to make you a better person but you have to decide what will make up for that it's like a parent and a kid like people that are parents y'all could relate to this like maybe your kids like or even spouses sometimes like let's say like you were supposed to take your girl out or whatever and you know you ain't get the chance to take her out you gonna be like you know what i ain't get to take her out i'm gonna buy her some flowers i'm gonna pay for her to get her hair her nails done to make up for me not taking her out so it's the same way when you take a l in life whether you lose your job whether you get financially set back maybe you overspent went money when you wasn't supposed to maybe you maxed out your credit card maybe you're drowning in debt like what will make up for the loss I can't determine that for you but you can't just like with my friends like I said and I said this in one of my previous videos but I'm gonna say it again I've told my friends like if a man play you or my uh, my guy friends too if a girl play you just go find better like you get what I'm trying to say something that will help you get over that loss better it's just like if somebody do something to you maybe they hurt you maybe they offended you if you give the person a chance and if they are willing to they will do something to make their wrong right you see what I'm saying so it's the same thing like find a way to like go get wins that will make up for your losses if you lost 10 bands maybe you gotta grind like an extra I don't know maybe you gotta work overtime maybe you gotta work two jobs baby maybe you gotta I don't know like sell a product like double the price of that product for maybe five six months or something like that just so that you can make up for the loss that you took so that's what I'm trying to tell y'all in this video because I already told y'all 2023 is a year of comeback like I'm I'm recovering from some losses because I can't go out bad and I can't go out sad like I just can't and there's some areas of my life right now where I'm like I gotta tighten up I gotta focus I gotta lock in because mm-mm Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> like no baby no like I can't take no loss like that you get what I'm trying to say like you just can't like I mean I feel like I've I'm not ready to share that part because it's so sensitive but it's like if you lose something like just find a way to get better and I'm not saying you're gonna get better right away like if you break up with somebody um the next guy you get might not be the ideal guy for you but it might take you to go through one two three more guys before you finally find the right one but you can find the right one that will make up for all those other lanes that you was with before you get what i'm trying to say so it's the same thing even career wise if you feel like you missed out on an opportunity that could have changed your life that could have made your life better cool develop yourself build yourself because that's another thing you got work on yourself you get what i'm trying to say like i couldn't just i want to say this i hate talking about this but i'm gonna do it i'm doing it for y'all i promise but i didn't just go like from being a girlfriend to a wife overnight like it didn't happen like I had to work on myself I had to deal with traumas I'm still learning I'm still growing I'm still developing like I'm not perfect in my relationship in my marriage either you get what I'm trying to say so just figure out what will make up for your losses and whatever that is to you 
and I feel like how you make up for a loss it has to be better than the loss that you took okay so if you had a job and you was probably making twenty dollars an hour you felt like it was your ideal job you were satisfied there you ended up losing a job work your way up again to making 25 an hour 30 an hour 40 an hour y'all feel me so that's how i say you go about making up for your losses and let 2023 be a year of making up for your losses i don't know if you can relate to me or not but that's my mindset that's my concept period like it's simple it ain't complicated it ain't hard like yes it's gonna take work you gonna have to work on yourself because you gonna have to be aware that okay I already went through something like this I already been with a guy like this I already been at a job like this I already fumbled a bag like this you get what I'm trying to say so I'm not trying to deal with this again you get what I'm trying to say even if it's temporary it's cool but make sure it's not permanent you get what I'm trying to say like don't keep being with the same type of people don't keep signing up for the same type of jobs and not expect to take the same type of losses you get what i'm trying to say like there's a reason why you're constantly losing in a certain area there's a reason why you're not having the level of success that you want in a certain area and you just have to take time to sit back to analyze like i have um I have something that like I'm researching, I'm analyzing, and it makes sense. Like there's a certain area in my life, like when I dominate in that area, every other area in my life like is fine. But when I'm not dominating in that area, every other area in my life is just like, you get what I'm trying to say? Y'all, my phone ringing again. I want to take this call so bad, but... <laughs> I'm not going to take the call. I'm going to let them leave a message so I can finish this video. But um, anyways, y'all, just lock in. That's the bottom line of this video. Lock in, focus, stay dedicated, stay motivated, and just make up for your losses. Don't keep crying about the same loss. Don't keep complaining about the same loss. It's annoying after a while. It gets old after a while. You could talk about it, but what are you going to do about it? That's the bottom line. Yes, you took that loss, but what are you going to do about it? You're going to spend the rest of your life talking about that loss, or are you finally going to get you know you going you going to get your plays in motion and make up for that loss like you know what i'm trying to say so that's pretty much all i got for y'all that's my main focus this year and i hope to inspire y'all as the year progresses i'm gonna open up more and just be transparent about some of the losses i feel like i took 2020 2021 wait no 2021 2022 and then i'm gonna share with y'all like exactly how i'm making up for those losses in other videos but just don't keep complaining like don't keep complaining don't keep talking about it just do something about it that's the best thing you you could do is do something about it don't keep crying about the loss oh he broke my heart okay baby there's somebody else that will help you to get over that heartbreak you know what i'm trying to say and some people like they spend their whole life crying about a loss that they took complaining about the loss that they took and you had 10 years to make up for that loss and you did nothing about it so stop talking about it okay so i hope this helped y'all if y'all have any questions just drop a comment below i'll be happy to help y'all out i'm about to work overtime so that i can get y'all hold on dang that's crazy okay <laughs> i'm about to get on another uh call after this but um i'm about to work hard to get this video up for y'all today because like i said it's 3 30 editing it's not gonna be perfect but i got y'all and i promise i'm gonna get back in motion with my videos and dropping great content for y'all um just bear with me but i love y'all whoever is watching this you could come back from anything literally it's all mental it's what you tell yourself if you think you can you're right if you think you can't you're also right so make a decision to just come back from your losses and that's it y'all i love y'all i appreciate y'all oh i gotta um show y'all my outfit so i'm about to show y'all my outfit roll the clip and close out um roll the clip and then close out this video okay let me get off my phone um and then close out this video so i'm gonna see y'all where i show y'all my outfit um then no i'm about to roll the clip of me getting ready after i'm done getting ready y'all gonna see the clip of my outfit and then i'm gonna do an outro so i love y'all and you took an l but make sure you know and in the driveway is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain In 
never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, so to no man, I still go Go, go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff saying Turn them to a game Take the best stuff saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start of pain And you'll find a door Open it up y'all so here's my outfit i got this dress on because i had zoom meetings like i told you i had to be on camera i wanted to be cute and it was also kind of hot so i had this little dress on right here y'all seen it before just not my first time wearing it i actually low-key think this is one of my favorite dresses i just think it is but um i paired it with this blue and gold necklace i decided to you know i had to put it on because the meetings i had they had to know what time it was so i had to put the gold watch on um the gold earrings right there with the pearls to match my pearl necklace and then i got these uh bracelets on i did my brows y'all i didn't put lashes on because the meetings i was in did not call for lashes so Mm -mm. Then I got my little ponytail, my hair. Um, when I did run out, because I had to go out this morning, I had black leggings under these. And then right here, I paired it with my Uggs. Um, just to like make the look. But now that I'm in the house, I was cooking, y'all. It was hot. So I took my leggings off. And then I had my little house slippers on, which still goes with them. And then when I did run out this morning, this is the bag that I paired with it so that's my outfit for today y'all i hope y'all like it um and that's pretty much it so i'm about to close this video out get it edited for y'all and i hope y'all enjoy this remember like even if you take the l make sure you bounce back from that l find a way to make a comeback from that L that you took, whether it's financially, whether it's relationship, whether it's um, appearance wise, any category of your life, okay? So that's all I have for y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I'ma see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great.